Hello friends, I've been hunting hackers for a while now and one of the main questions that comes up fairly frequently is how much does it actually matter if players map hack? Is it going to change the outcome very much? Uh, and I decided to test that. So I'm playing against one of my good friends who currently is using map hack. This is a 5700 MMR player. So that is a mid grandmaster player and then maybe rank 80 or rank 70, something like that, maybe even a bit higher. Um, and I am about 63 to 6500 MMR majority of the time. The question is, is my opponent going to be capable of beating me? And um, I personally think that at higher level, map hacks is going to be more impactful than at a lower level. Because at lower level, people just don't quite know how to parse the information properly, how to kind of respond to what they're seeing with their with their free info that they're getting. So, um, okay, my opponent here, Jordix, is opening up with a full wall, at least temporarily. Obviously not scouting because, well, my opponent doesn't need to scout here whatsoever. I want to see if there's a Marine coming out. Um, I'm also going to play as if I don't know that he is hacking. Because I, I'm not going to fake him, you know, with movement. By moving in here and then moving away. I'm going to pretend like I'm not aware of the fact that he is hacking. Because that is, of course, one of the things that the ladder map hackers have as an advantage. Is you never know whether you're playing against a hacker or not. And you can't play like you're playing against a hacker. You can't fake out someone with full vision. Uh, if that person doesn't have full vision, then you just look like an idiot. And it's not really something you want to prepare for. Oh, there comes the first Reaper. He's just <laughs> he's barely going to miss me. Um, probably wants to run up this ramp. I bet, yeah. I bet the movement is going to be quite tight here. Oh, does end up finding something here. My next adept is about to pop out. He doesn't really need to run up. Only if he believes that he can deal damage, will he run up. And the reason for this is very simple. It's because if he, he doesn't need to go in there for information anymore. That's that, that's the simple reason, and that is the only reason that truly matters. We're going to chrono once here on our, uh, on our workers. And we're going to build this battery a little bit in the back. I see a lot of Protoss players building it in front, a lot of the high-level tosses. I personally much prefer having it in the... Oh, in the far back. He, he comes in pretty clean here. And I actually need to micro this uh, well. Good control out of him. Knows exactly what he wants in life. Oh. I want to wait until I have this thing available, that's for sure. Just going to add a robotics facility, I think. And then... I'm not sure... Oh. He actually managed to get in here. Ah, oh, that's super frustrating. So, I am going to catch one. I'm going to get my next gateway too. I'm not sure how worth it this was for him, but he got two kills. So, it's probably better than not getting any kills. Oh, I thought I already built a, a pylon. I mean, the movement, the movement that he's making is so, so confident. You know, he just goes in. There's no second thoughts, because he knows there's not going to be any units upstairs, or he knows how many units there's going to be upstairs. Obviously, he's also going to find the correct locations for everything. Actually, I want to do this the other way around. I want to do it like this. This is the way that I would do it. I'm going to have two stalkers in my main base. I'm going to chrono boost this once more. Then I'll just go for a double gas here, and a cheeky little chrono boost on this bad boy too. I already have a pylon coming in. I'm really curious to see what his plans are going to be. I should have sent this adept out a little bit faster. Oh. That was lucky for me, but he's just going to fly in, obviously, because he knows exactly where I am. Ooh, that was a that was a bad setup for him to be. No, I got no, 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 Kevin. No. Okay. Almost uh, <laughs> got hit full, full on my uh, on my probes faces there. Um, we have this adept going across the map. It's not responding to it quite yet. Of course, you still need the speed to respond to it. I'm gonna send this thing across too. And I think I want to just send out a couple of units. So you're going to be control group one. And this is going to be control group two. That is going to just build this base for now. Oh, we see something flying in here. That is intense. I don't think he should actually set it up. He's going to set it up though. That's definitely a mistake. Oh. He sees my observer and should probably try to catch it as well. It's really difficult for me to, to get proper movement with my units. Oh, crap. Probably should scan this. If I were him, I, I would. This is a mistake. Maybe he can see my invisible units? Is that a possibility? That he just doesn't see those? 
now. Oh, he actually baited me away. Oh, that was a really nice bait. Okay, these guys coming here. He's sieging up in time, of course he is. This is very difficult, let me tell you. This is not easy at all. And I don't quite know what his follow-up is going to be. He's not scanning me still. I'm keeping these two stalkers at home, just in case. Going to try to pick up some reinforcements as well here. I don't actually know I'm massively supply blocked. This movement here is pretty much perfect. It's gonna move back with one of these. Gonna get a kill. That's a big deal. That's a big deal. I was supply blocked for a pretty long time, which obviously sucks. I have a feeling he can't see my observer above him. I mean, that was definitely a fight that he couldn't take. We're gonna go up to eight gateways. Gonna get plus one as well. He's going up here. Does he have a third base already? That would actually kind of shock me, not gonna lie. Do want this thing going in this direction. And let's see if we can blink in here. No, we don't want to. Oh, he catches this. Supply block again. I feel like I'm so busy with maneuvering. Because he's constantly finding my units. Which completely ties me up. With just everything, basically. It's tying up my mental resources as well. That's for sure. Okay, let's see if I can take a fourth base over here. I mean, he definitely does have his own third base. That's the one thing I'm pretty certain about right now. Oh. Oh my god, I got... Okay. That's frustrating. I didn't know he was going to come from there. So I'm going to lose a bunch of these. I guess I stayed on the map for too long. I knew he had a, a dropout on the map. I just didn't quite know where it was. Um... Get some blind cannons. Yeah, that's something I definitely would do anyway at this point. I probably would like to get a cannon here too. This is such a harsh position in between a pylon and a mineral patch. I don't know why I like it that much, but I do. I can't help myself. It's just the way it is. Second forge, maybe good. Okay. Just going to get this base up as well. Gonna set up some uh, some run buys. Which of course is a very common move in this matchup. Oh. Gonna send these out too. Just gonna send these continuously forward. Actually, I think I'm just gonna run up. Oh. Gonna run these back. These are gonna get caught too. And this is just fairly unfortunate. I feel like I'm so busy with moving my units around and trying to dodge my opponent's movement. That is just really freaking hard for me to get any time for a real macro in, if that makes any sense. Okay, this is good. This is going to be my first bit of harassment that actually will deal damage. I'm going to send more zealots across the map. No, I'm not. Okay, so he has an army over there. I feel like there's an army coming up here too. I haven't been building workers very well. I'm not going to lie about that. I'm not going to lie about that. Okay, here he comes. It's a wild move to go in, to be honest. I know he has tanks here somewhere. Okay, tanks are already pre-sieged up. I still see him in this general area. Okay, this feels good. Ah! That felt a lot less good. Going to hide. Actually, yeah, hiding these. That's what I usually would do. I would hide them. So I'm going to continue doing that as well. Okay, I see you flying around. I'm just going to kill him here. I do think I am going to kill him here. There's much he can do about that, yeah. There you go. Need to be careful though, because I had lost vision of his uh, of his run by force. He's going to send one Colossus over there. Here I can get a fifth base as well. That would be kind of a big deal. Then I want two more gases. I wonder if his plan is to actually play a macro game or not. If I can clear these rocks. Eh, you never know. I need some vision around the map. So I'm going to try getting that. I'm also just going to send these across the map. See if I can do a run by of some sort. Oh. Oh, 
probably need a, a prism at some point as well, no? Okay, we still have full vision there. Him not clearing my observers is actually helping me out a lot. Every fight he takes is just freaking perfect, isn't it? <laughs> Tells exactly when to move in and when to move out. That is just really impressive, you know? That, oh, that was a bad mistake, though. So now we're just gonna move in forward with uh, our entire arm. Oh. Gateways. So this is all control based, right? Which is usually where you make the difference anyway against lower level players. Nice one. As I said, that completely oh, the greatest fight for him. Oh, I thought I had one more available, to be honest. I should have probably chased, I think. He didn't, but I think he should have. Then again, just because I think someone shoot doesn't mean they actually shoot. Um, so we have a lot of these disruptors available. Do we have blink yet on DTs? No, we don't. Let's see if I can send in salad plus DT. Sounds like a good plan. Oh. I don't know what his upgrades are, Gates. Okay, 2 2. Oh, there are a lot of Vikings. Let's see if we can do something about that. Oh, got the card here. This one's gonna go in. Not sure why we would attack the Marauder there. There's a lot of scans available, by the way. This base is gone, so. I'm not super feeling my spot. Gonna get some more cannons. Very impressive movement once more. Okay, let's see if he's paying attention here. Okay, let's get that. Okay, now life is gonna be harder because this is the first time. Oh, crap. Please. First time I really lose complete vision. This is actually really freaking hard. Okay, we're still winning this battle. You have slightly better upgrades as well, which is definitely helping. You can get a Colossus out or something as well. That would definitely help me. I still want a 6th base though. To be honest, I'm really struggling in this game. I don't think I've ever struggled this much against Jorix in my life. I've played quite a few games against him. And usually whenever we get to a late game, or honestly just to a mid game, I clean him up completely. Like this is... This is comp- Ah, crap! Of course, this is competitive. He's just always... He, he just knows when he can be on the map. Which actually also kind of shows the the power that having good map control and good map vision gives to someone. Because he could just get a lot of map vision. He could get that by himself. He doesn't need the hack for it necessarily. You know? Let's see if we can do anything here. Um, yeah, that thing's gonna die. That makes sense. Gonna send this one in forward. Okay, he always has just the freaking perfect, perfect setups, huh? Just crazy maneuvers. Okay. Okay. You go in here, you go to the third base. Gotta actually outspeed him a little bit. Let's see if I can hit anything here. I can, because he wasn't paying attention. Which is of course kind of what I live for, him not paying attention. This thing is going as well. It's just really hard. Because he just knows exactly where I'm moving. He knows when I'm flanking. He knows just freaking everything. Okay, let's see if I can 
stop this flank from happening. I don't think I could. Really control based is what I need to be looking at here for now, I think. Okay, let's see if we can get a couple more units. We can. Still as I have lost my uh, six base again, which actually sucks. I just don't have so much cash. Ooh, he doesn't have so many medevacs though, which is actually kind of a big deal. Okay, I had some vision there. Now I don't anymore. Oh crap, there's not a, not a good blink. But ends up being an okay fight here for me. I think these raptors are actually going to give me the win big time. I just need a freaking 6 base so bad. Like you guys have no clue. Well, you guys have a clue because I keep repeating it. I want to take out these rocks. Um, we have a lot of disruptors. I'm surprised how hard this is. To be honest, I thought I was just going to eat him alive. I didn't think this was going to be close at all. Because it usually isn't close between me and him. I have massively underestimated this. I really have. Okay. Come on. That's better move, not a me. Oh, I thought he was gone, coming in with a flank there, but he wasn't. Um, we need more gases, surely. We actually are mining quite a bit of gas. I'm not gonna lie. He's probably trying to set up the flank of a lifetime. But the problem is with Liberators, you can't really send, set up like crazy good flanks. Because you need to have the Liberators there as well. So this type of flank is better with low lip counts. Yeah. Control still is uh, much better for me, of course. So every single time we have one of these engagements, I feel very good about myself. I really do. He should work a lot on uh, clearing observers, though. Oh crap, I accidentally miss uh, hotbeat something. I wonder if he has a sixth base yet. Oh, he has a. What the hell? He does. He, he does have six bases. So he's had six bases for a while, I guess. This maneuvering is so freaking hard. It really is. It always is really hard, but it's so much harder now. It's insane. I don't even know how to describe this. Okay, here he comes with a flank. Like, the moment I lose any type of vision, life is just going to start sucking for me. But the moment he loses any type of vision, it's kind of fine. Oh, crap. I... Like, there's no moment of rest, because the moment he sees rest, he can just jump you instantly. My DTs have managed to arrive. I feel like he can't see the DTs on the minimap, though. I'm not even sure if he can see invisible units altogether. I'm not sure how that works with actual map hacks, but that at least seems to be the case here for this. Um, he just needs to his own uh, his own building there. That's pretty funny, if you ask me. Okay, uh, I don't know how it usually works. Either way, we're now gonna kill this uh, left side base, which should be completely free for me to take. I'm expecting him to go through the middle, actually, now that I think about it. He's not around, is he? Boss man ain't around. I think we're gonna get the W here. All we need to do right now is win this fight over here. Put one little purification over on this area. And then we honestly should be fine. Yeah, once the multitasking became a little bit too much, I still managed to win. I think this is the longest macro game I've played against him in my entire life. I've been in much worse positions after early games. Can I get my pick in my range? Sometimes I look at Colossus and think to myself, these guys don't have the range they shoot. And then they do. Colossus just sucks. Nice. Got our win. We're going to try one more time against him. This was the his test game as well. His first time ever using this. So it's obvious that... I think you get better if you use full vision after a while, but his movement was freaking insane. And it really shocked me that someone basically a thousand MMR below me can actually get away with it. That's pretty crazy to me. All right, I spoke with him in between the game and we did realize that this, uh, this mod doesn't give vision of my observers, which I think is actually kind of a big deal. Because I got a lot of value from my observers insane value out of my observer like my one observer that was in the middle 
And he said one of the biggest things that he noticed is that he can move very confidently on the map and that it actually makes macroing easier as well. Because usually as a Terran, you're always afraid when you're moving across of like a hidden disruptor, of a hidden army somewhere. You can't always be scanning forward because it's simply too expensive. But he said, you know, if, if I know that you don't have any units there, I can move easily across the map and focus on other things. So it just makes the, the game so much easier. Like the, just everything is easier. It's not just the vision, but also just the macro because you just have more time for other stuff. You don't have to worry. Like the, the, the confidence in army movement, he said, is, is freaking huge. And I'm thinking personally, I wish there was a way where we could properly recreate it without having to actually download 12 different viruses and actually hacking. Um, I think if he can see my invisible units as well, that would be huge. Don't forget, a lot of hackers on top of that also have production, uh, what's called production tab hack. So they see everything uh, the opponent builds basically in real time, like 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 as if you're watching a replay. Building my Nexus one supply to a later. By the way, just want to point it all out. Well, he's making some little mistakes here, but still managed to win. Because um, you can't really, you know, cheat your way out of having to control your units. Um, I also wonder whether his opener in that last game actually was the correct one. To me, what sounds most logical is a more eco-focused opener, still with some aggression, and with aggression that can be heavily reliant on, um, you know, just me, uh, me, on how I respond. Don't forget, he doesn't need the scout, so opening with a Reaper actually feels like a waste of money anything you probably want to be opening up with a marine first marine first into reactor sounds like a very honestly a very smart build to me so that's what i'm thinking he said he's still thinking about what his preferred way of playing is um but that that would be my preferred way of playing if i'm a hacker I'm going to switch it up what the hell all oh, right okay so he just actually hit and he saw that i was moving away and um, that was pretty freaking stupid by me I saw certain he wasn't going to build a Reaper that I forgot. Oh my god, this is a really bad start. This is not a great look for me, honestly. Not a great look, because this shouldn't have happened. Okay, he's ready at the same time. This is also a cool way, because people always won't want to move out against everything. Um, but moving out can be just kind of scary. Uh, if the Reaper is there, and there's two bases that he can pick from, right? He can also decide to build a Reaper if he sees no Reaper wall. Ah, he comes in from the side here. He's actually going to get another worker kill. I don't even think he's ever gotten a single worker kill in his entire life against me. Now he's going to get two. Uh, luckily his APM isn't high enough to keep it alive. But actually he got three worker kills, didn't he? Yeah, nice try, buddy. What do you think this is? Amateur hour? Actually, it does look like it's amateur hour. Looks a whole lot like it's amateur hour. We're going to go hunting for his Hellion. That's what I'd usually do here. Uh, I know I'm not going to catch it, but a man can try. A man can try indeed. You can also try to just run by, of course. So we have a second gate on the way. We're going to get a little uh, little dude over here. And he can hard counter me. I'm actually surprised he built a Hellion. That seems like the worst thing you can build. No? If you think about it. Hellion really is kind of exclusively for scouting. I guess you can harass with it a little bit as well. Oh, look at that. Mine position defensively. Very cool, my friend. Is there another mine over here? Doesn't seem to be the case. Let's see if we can piss off like this. We should get one of these, huh? So, Thirsty Sea coming up. We have a Viking that's out. Of course, there's a Viking that's out. Makes a whole lot of sense. It's going to be very difficult for me to get scouting information because he can deny scouting information pretty... pretty easily in my mind. Oh, yeah. So he's always going to find me, obviously. That's his... That's kind of what he does. Finding me. Got a forge and a twilight. And anything that is more aggressive, like the more aggressive I play, the easier his defense is going to be, of course. So, I actually do believe... Oh, no way. Wait, he's actually attacking me? Oh, crap, I'm losing a lot of units. This is not a great look. This is not a great look. The problem is I just don't know if he's planning on moving out or not. And he can just move on the map to try and force units and then move back in time to deal with my harass. Like, I just can't get any information here. It's so hard. He can be doing anything, so I'm going to need to take some liberties. Okay, I'm going to pick this up. That's his mistake. Okay. He moves forward, which is understandable. 
Okay, he's still there, positioned. Positioned over there. Yeah, I feel like the more... like Imagine I'm playing like a DT drop or something, right? I'm now playing builds that aren't super aggressive in a way, but I still actually want to deal some damage. But imagine I play a build that actually wants to be aggressive. You just kind of default win against all of those if you are remotely familiar with what you have to do in life. And in life, I mean in StarCraft 2. Um, okay, we're just going to be moving in over here. Uh, but he's in position to deal with me. Okay. Look, I'm not playing the hottest game. That's not what I'm saying. But I am saying that he's finding every single threat that I'm launching at him. Which is making life pretty freaking hard. It is making life pretty freaking hard. And I'm really afraid of a move out, to be honest. I have no clue where he's at with like his, his crap. Like how many units he has. We have four phoenixes. I think I lost like three as well. Which is, once again, not a great look. This game feels much worse than the previous game. My, my macro has been okay, but I'm not sure if that's going to be good enough. Okay, that's that one. Should be moving. <laughs> Perfect timing again. God, this guy. He's very good at the game, isn't he? Oh, neat. Probably wants to move out. This is what we're seeing. Have I missed this move out already? I don't think so, right? Let's see where we're at here, buddy. He really should try to clear some of my vision on the map. It's kind of key. Oh, skip turrets because he thought he was always going to be in position. Rookie moves. Let's see if he has anything in the main. Oh, he doesn't. Going for some type of... Uh, I don't actually know what type of thing he's going for. But it doesn't look great for him. I wish I wasn't supply lock right now. Then we're going to send this thing around the map as well. Cheeky little cannon over here. Thermal lance. Sending out Zealot Rumbys. This is one of the key things that you do as a Protoss player. If you're sending out Zealot Rumbys. So the fact that all of these are going to get spotted. Is just massively sucking for me. <sighs> but without it, the game is practically unplayable against Terran. I wonder if Terran is even the best race. I feel like if you're Zerg. Life is going to be really freaking easy. Like... Really freaking easy. Okay, we're just gonna fly this in. We seem a little bit out of position after all. Okay, he sees that. I'm gonna send some more across the map. We're flying this in. I don't think he's paying attention to the mini map, or maybe he hasn't paid attention in a in a little while. Oh, never mind. Misses his EMP, which sucks to be him, you know. He's going to end up clearing me though. Or is he? I'm pretty supply blocked, which not my brightest moment. Not my brightest moment. Just stay over here. Should I recall? Usually I think I would just keep it, honestly. I think that's what I would do. Hope that he doesn't see me. And we gotta keep it legit like that. Hope that he doesn't see me. That's that's actually a typical harsh thing. Like pretending a little bit, you know? Okay. The way I do it here is I send one zealot forward here, one zealot forward here. So I have a warning if he starts looking for my zealots. Because even when people don't have map hacks, they do look for zealots. Because it's very common that Rumbys go in. So he, I see him move back completely. Just going to position these over here. Going to get more of these bad boys on the map. Plus three, plus one. Okay, this gets spotted completely. Going to continue moving him forward. Something that I've seen max packs do a lot is actually get a couple of Templars in the mix. Which I, I'm not sure about. I actually am completely unsure about, but he seems to like it. And anything that Max Pax likes, I like too. Okay, let's see if we can send this in. Love the thought of that. Okay, well, never mind. That didn't work at all. Yeah, I would not continue moving here. I see a fourth base on the way. I already have a fifth coming in though. I wonder if we can see that it's a hallucination. Let's hope he can't. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start moving in a little bit. We have one more of these on the way, which is good for us. Hope we're gonna deal some damage. Move this forward into the third.
I don't have blink. Oh, well, that's kind of a mistake, isn't it? Yeah, this is a typical move as well. Kind of... Ooh, forgot to lift this. So we're kind of staying on the edge here of what's possible. It's not a great fight, to be honest. It's actually a really crap fight. Did not like this at all. Did not like this at all. Upgrades are not in my favor. Not having blink there was a pretty big deal. With blink you can poke much easier. Either way, we're gonna send some zealots across the map. Hopefully we can run past him, but I don't think we can. Oh, oh well. This doesn't look so great. not look so great hit that I did take a bad fight I did take a bad fight <sighs> I mean I'm dead 100% right. there's no chance here for me anymore I don't think so at least Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. Well, he is pretty low in workers. Or in workers in HP. So maybe we have something going on for us. I mean, we have quite a bit of uh, money still. Which actually is, is a big deal, you know? also doesn't quite feel brilliant. Let's hope he doesn't pay attention for another few minutes. His control is significantly worse than most people are playing. He managed to win. Oh, actually, it was pretty close to in supply. Maybe I could have pushed this back a little further. Work account was close, at least. Might have left too early, to be honest. This thing was gonna die. This probably was gonna get cleaned up. Got four zealots, three stars. Uh, it was gonna be close. I was pretty out of cash. It didn't look good for me, but I shouldn't have left quite yet. He also has a lot of energy available. Because there's no macro hack for you to throw down your mules and build extra barracks, is there, buddy? All right, scores 1-1. One, one. Let's just finish up this best of three, I guess. All right, I actually want to try something uh, a little bit more aggressive. I was thinking, what is a very standard build in PvT? that has some aggression and allows me to transition out. So I've played a kind of a defensive two, three gate blink in the first game. I played a uh, an Oracle Phoenix into charge lot in the, in the second game. So I thought I can either play Phoenix Colossus now, which is very common, or I can go for like a three gate aggressive blink with a prism. Uh, no. no observers that last game. Maybe one, I can't remember having any. Uh, Either way, I want to yeah go for a 3-gate blink with a prism. I want to see if his defensive movement and the way he positions his units can improve very much. Because in my mind, a lot of that needs to... A lot of those decisions are kind of made before everything hits. Um, and then it's just kind of control in the moment. Now, I'm not the greatest 3-gate blinker. That's max packs. Um, and then after that, there's like seven other tosses that are better at it than me as well. But I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm not bad. I don't suck at it. Not god awful. Know how to play it. I know the build order at least. That's something. Know how to execute it. I know the theory behind it. Am I as good in my decision making as some of the other guys? No. But I'm one of the top guys for sure. Okay. Let's have a look at this. We have a Nexus. So I definitely want to block this spot. The fact he can always get away with not scouting is actually pissing me off a little bit. I'm really shocked how well that Reaper performed last game. We shouldn't forget about that. That definitely influenced the early game a little bit. Then I just took a bad fight. I, I want to rely more on Disruptors and less on these fights where I multitask. Because I'm not super comfortable with that yet. Something I've been practicing recently. But for this experiment, perhaps it's best if I just stick with what I know best. Like 3-gate link. Okay, here we go. 
just gonna chrono boost this out i didn't see v as a reaper or a marine as the first unit which i'm now frustrated by because i wish i knew gonna be playing this a little bit more careful as well with my first adept moving across i actually wonder if i could beat i was thinking so i was thinking of the way kind of the way they went was people like they put it in the comments and some of my friends uh, asked me as well in real life they're like hey what do you think about it do you how like how how impactful do you think it is and then i kind of started wondering like would i be capable of always beating Cyril, um if i had map hack and i'm not actually sure and that's something i definitely do want to try Cyril right now i think is a little bit busy so i don't want to bother him with it but Maybe if he's, uh, once he finishes his army service, I can actually ask him. Or just whoever wins the upcoming world championship, I could ask him. I think that would be kind of fun. Seeing if I could beat the world championship with map hack in a somewhat consistent manner. Like, you can always take individual games against most people, but... The thing here is the, the consistency at, at which you can feel close. And so far these games... Honestly, it might be a really cool practice tool if you don't have any you know, high level players or like like your own level players to play with. Uh, of course, Grandmaster is still high level. Um, that's not what I meant. Um, but if you don't have like, uh, you know, the top players, you could just give your opponents an advantage like this, which actually makes them feel a whole lot more, a whole lot more like top players. Not gonna lie. I'm assuming a Hellion drove past in here in the, during this moment. I'd be shocked if that ain't the case. I can clear this now. Come buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's amateur hour. Should I finish this actually? I think I should, yeah. Oh, I might lose both. But I also might not. So, you know? What do you know? Actually got a little bit of information. Not infinito information, but just a little bit. Sometimes in life, a little bit of information is enough. I just chrono boost. Oh, chrono boost out my uh, my prism as well. I thought I saw something blink here. I'm actually going insane. Um, just gonna keep these three at home. Ugh, we end up losing that. That sucks. So I'm expecting him not to lose anything against my next setup. Basically, I can't really move through this thing. This is how I would do it usually. Oh my god, he's up here. Do I have an observer on the way? Ah, of course he goes in right now. Okay, yeah, he shouldn't be trying to fight that. Makes a lot of sense. I mean, the move out was kind of cute. See, he's not quick enough here to uh, to deal with my threat. It's not quick enough yet. Um, let's see if we can actually get in here somewhere, or if it's going to be impossible right now. Okay, we have vision of this. Just going to move this thing around. Let's actually do it like this. This is how I, should, how I would do it anyway in real life. Yes, sir. See if we can get some uh, some attacks in here. Okay, managed to get out of there. Start plus one as well. I think at eight more gateways, or sorry, go up to eight gateways, I guess. So I don't have necessarily the, the greatest setup here. He managed to defend it quite well. I'm not going to lie about that. This feels really good for me. <sighs> and we're back. You can definitely feel the difference here, you know, between him and like a... Because we're constantly interacting. So you can feel that he's like... He's just losing a little bit. He really is just losing a little bit. That's completely fine. Now, the problem here is going to be, of course, that... Well, I'm going to be getting a 
probably gonna get flanked here at some point, to be quite honest. So I want to stop that, so I'm just gonna be patrolling units over here. I probably wanna put something in this prism too. So just two zealots or something. I'm afraid of, of, of anything showing up as well at the same time. So we have two sentries already. He's gonna go for this, which is a wild move. Ooh, he was in position to deal with my crap. He really was. This is extremely frustrating, by the way. I really want my Colossus. Got my Thermal Lance as well. Now let's see if we can get in here. He hasn't built a Viking yet, which is surprising to me. He hasn't dealt with this threat at all properly. Maybe he doesn't know how to. That is a possibility. Oh, I think I lost something here. I don't remember what that was. Was that my observer, maybe? Just gonna keep this. Oh, actually, I would definitely teleport it out at this point. I would most definitely teleport it out at this point. Yes, sir. Couple gases coming in. No, sir. Don't even think about it. Okay. This feels good. Gonna just teleport this back. He knows exactly what he can and can't get away with, of course. So we're gonna send some of these around. I don't think you can actually fight here, boss. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I think this is really nice for me. This feels like the start of a, of a banging fight. Maybe it isn't. I force field three of these marauders in, which actually is a really big deal. People underestimate how big getting a couple of marauders is. I want to send this across the map too. What's that? Oh, just drop mines. Drop them in a bad spot though. Shouldn't have done that, chief. I wish I would have cleared these mines, or I could have cleared these mines. I didn't really have the opportunity for that. Maybe he's still around. Maybe he ain't. Either way, we're about to get some upgrades going now. As well as disruptors. Um, just get another gas here. How about that, huh? Oh. That isn't working out for me at all. Uh, he just tried looking for me. That shouldn't be working out for him at all, to be honest. Okay. Did manage to kind of sneak by in a weird way. Oh. Just gonna get a warp in in here. Gonna continue moving forward and now maybe we can do something. Doesn't quite seem to be the case. So we're just really... We're kind of going ham here with just having multiple control groups and hoping that he doesn't pay attention as well as I do. Which so far has seemed somewhat true. I'm definitely lacking in map vision though. Like I, I, I don't have good vision here. It's so easy for him to deny all vision at all times. Which is actually extremely frustrating for me. He's gonna send these in right now. Let's hope he's not in position to deal with that. He should be. Yeah, see? He's getting lazy. He thinks, oh, I know where it is. I don't have to deal with it. But you definitely have to deal with it, especially if you know where it is, then you should be dealing with it. And send this to the bottom side. We have our next set of warp ins coming in. We just get four more gates. And then from here on out, I actually kind of want to get a fifth base as well. Oh my god! I need way more of this stuff, don't I? It's so scary to move off ramp, up ramps. Usually it's already quite scary to move up ramps, and that gets done times 10 here. I'm gonna kill this thing, which is big. Okay, that felt good. Getting a lot of worker kills here as well. Just gonna get this. I think at this point we're so far ahead that it is starting to become difficult to imagine a loss. We cleared his fort base. Um, we can probably do that again. Oh, crap. Yeah, now it's just kind of a control issue. As in, he has an issue and I don't. 
with control. It's gonna send these across. Get a stim forced out. I think he stimmed everything there now. Then we don't really want to fight instantly again. He's gonna try and find a position where he's happy with life. I'm gonna try and do the same thing to be honest. So we have so many gateways, so as long as we just keep any amount of disruptors alive, we should be fine here and I should have no issues. This is coming in clean. Yeah, I was gonna say, I thought I'd build a... Uh, I thought I'd build a Dark Shrine already and I definitely have. At this point what we can just do is get some Dark Templars. So just gonna get a bunch of DTs. I mean, we have so many disruptors that it seems impossible for me, for me to lose this game. He doesn't have the ghost count at all. Oh, I thought he was going to actually go for it, but then the second one, I guess, kind of stopped him dead in his tracks. Yeah. Don't forget, he can't see my DTs, which is kind of like cheating. But he is the one that's truly cheating, so I can get away with it. Oh, it's actually kind of in position. That sucks. See if I can push him forward. He's gonna kill a bunch of my DTs. He's kind of hoping that he's gonna land that thing so I can just right click it and take it from there. I think here we just straight up in the game. I'd be shocked if that's not the case. GG. Yeah. Once we get to like these control battles and have Zealot run bys, it doesn't matter so much whether he can see it. He's just as slow with splitting off units. And even with some of that prism harass, that seemed to be the case. So. I think the more interactions I get, the better it is for me. But once he's in control, it's actually very difficult to, to play it. I'm I'm honestly kind of shocked how much harder these games feel compared to when I normally play. I'm not saying normally it's a walkover, but he just feels so much more secure, so much more consistent with everything. And this was only three games for him as well with map hack and not being capable of seeing Invis units. I think it might actually be worth like seven, 800 MMR or so. So that's the difference between like what Diamond 3 and Masters 3, something along those lines. Although I'm not sure how well it tracks at lower level. I actually would love to try some show matches at lower level players where we put up like a like a 3k player against a 3.8k player. Yeah, he right now says if there's a few couple of disruptors, it's over. Just because of the control, I think. And I kind of agree with him. Although it's still he's doing much better than usual. It's still hard. Alright. I think that um Nicely finishes this experiment, actually. I hope you all did enjoy this video. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and um, yeah, be sure to tell me what you think. I'm actually curious. I really hadn't expected there to be such a big difference in skill between having map and not having map but it's there. All right, it's going to be it. Ciao, ciao.